It's a lawsuit between the Ute tribe and the federal government, but the state of Utah has inserted itself in it. The tribe says the state needs to butt out. We politely tried to explain to them this isn't your fight, but they've just took it upon themselves to insert themselves in a fight. The Ute tribe has filed a lawsuit against the Interior Department laying claim to roughly 2 million acres of land known as the Uncompagre. The tribe says it was ousted from the land in the 1800s, but never compensated for it. Them lands were treaty lands, so basically them were lands that were given in lieu of other lands, right? Now they want it back and are seeking a billion dollars in reparations. We've been in court time and time again with the state of Utah, right, reaffirming jurisdictional authorities and boundaries. It's been reaffirmed that the Uncapagri was never diminished or disestablished, right? And so we're just basically holding the federal government to the laws which they created. But the state of Utah has intervened in the lawsuit concerned about school trust lands, water and energy rights, and other issues. The tribe says the state needs to stay out of it. Our argument was never with the state because it never was a state issue. It was a federal issue. At his annual Native American summit, Governor Gary Herbert met with tribal leaders and expressed hope for a resolution. I'm hopeful that it can be resolved. I'll be talking to tribal leaders as we go down the road on that thing, and let's hope that we can. We should. Uh, I think there's misunderstandings for what the law is and what has happened in the past well, 50 years or more. They're buried in on their side. We're buried on our side, you know, and, and you know, and it's unfortunate, but it is fortunate that we, the Ute tribe, have. We've become so accustomed to this. The lawsuit is in a federal court in Washington, D.C. Last week, a judge began considering whether to consolidate it with a similar case. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.